So again, like Alex was saying, right, it's been a, a fun 20 years. Uh, tough to see that we've been in uh, HPC and scale for 20 years. And when people say, you know, um, uh, you know, I, I talk to new customers nowadays and they say, wow, it's amazing the type of success you guys have had. And really what I what I respond to that is that, you know, it really it, it really kind of took us 20 years to be an overnight success. So when we move from HPC to AI, we are really ready for AI because we have had an unwavering, you know, commitment to HPC. We've had experience, we've had technical team delivering HPC at scale for the past, you know, 10, 15 years, 20 years. And that is basically enabling us to deliver to AI at this point in a very simple fashion. So if you look at, you know, the various, uh, uh, you know, historical, uh, uh, you know, limestone of, uh, uh, of our history, it's always been about uh, the world faster. It's always been about performance, about delivering at scale, about delivering strategically, and uh, you know, reliability, manageability, performance, and defined performance. Um, always leading in technology. I think always leading. Uh, uh, also uh, uh, acquiring. Uh, I think over the past two years, the Luster division from Intel uh, enabled us to really add. And you'll see later in the presentation uh, a lot of features to the Luster that we call now Exo Five because of the enterprise capabilities that we're adding to it. And we're making a real difference. So you really, from on-prem uh, to cloud to any scale uh, to uh, you know obviously using NVMe and still using hard drives, right? We don't believe we hear out there that hard drive is dead. Well, I, we don't believe so. We believe that there is a, a space for uh, SSDs and there is a space for a hard drive still for the next uh, few years. And you just need to learn to apply which technology where. Really, what we have seen also is. We have a wide portfolio uh, of systems and solutions at DDN, which is enabling us, in essence, to have a, a, an educated and intelligent discussion with you as a user, right? So we can come to you in a consultative fashion and ask you, what are your real requirements, right? So the requirements could be, you know, I need parallel file system, I need 100 petabyte at whatever performance, I need to be able to move my data uh, to the cloud, I need to move my data to tape, I need to uh, migrate my data from, uh, you know, NetApp, Isilon, or uh, other God knows what platform. And what we have seen is a requirement from our users for, you know, uh, not just our AI and HPC platform uh, that deliver, obviously, unparalleled performance, but also for some other requirements, home directory or block or database or uh, either uh, object, uh, another platform, which is more of a NFS-driven, uh, NFS or SMB uh, type of platform. And so we are announcing for early, uh, we started deploying these systems, but you'll see much more of them in 2021 and 2022. And those are very efficient in the price performance situation, all NVMe enterprise class arrays. So DDN is coming in after the bigger boys. Uh, we respect what they have done, but we believe that we can deliver better value and better price performance across the board using also the same hardware platforms that we are on the HPC and AI. So what we're doing really here is using the extremely well optimized and balanced hardware that we've done over the years and applying an enterprise software stack, which has been proven across uh, about five, 6,000 customers as of date, right? So this came from an acquisition from Western Digital, but we have worked hard to actually improve this platform. We've used a homegrown NFS and SMB uh, stack from the Nexanta acquisition and linked it to the IntelliFlash platform to make it really, we believe in a very cool and uh, uh, innovative NVMe all flash or hybrid array. So this really, where does this fit? This fit in your home directories, it fits in your tier two flash, it fits into a backup uh, situation. And the competition on those is basically NetApp, Isilon uh, of the like. But we believe that uh, uh, we are gonna provide value. We're gonna provide commonality of parts. We're gonna provide the technical DDN TLC and technical support that you guys have grown to, to like over the years. So more to come, but we have, we're ready to engage in business with this. Another great news that you guys probably saw uh, two, three weeks ago at GTC, 
we have really, uh, you know, NVIDIA, as you know, has taken the lead uh, for AI platforms with the GPUs, with the A100 uh, solutions, as well as, you know, other uh, platforms offered by other OEMs that can be multi-way GPUs. And what we have done is we are one of the reference platforms, you know, for NVIDIA uh, in general with other players. However, where we have been able to differentiate is after multiple tests and, uh, and really testing and working in production with other platform, uh, NVIDIA selected us a little over a year ago to deliver the storage platform for their Celine supercomputer. And we were very ecstatic about this. I mean, this is really the proof that technology and engineering is stronger than just marketing and claims. And so we were able to deliver value, deliver uh, inordinate amount of performance. I mean, in some cases, 10 to 20 X performance from competition that claim that they're the best in the world. And this is what DDN is all about, right? When we mention performance, we deliver it, we over deliver it. So Celine uh, represents about 10 petabyte, uh, a little over 10 petabyte of flash at two terabyte a second, right? And this is literally delivered over two racks. So uh, amazing, the first, uh, I think at the last user group a year ago, we mentioned that the first uh, uh, 10 systems were installed in four hours. Um, and, and this has been in production for quite some time. But I think the value of this also is what we are learning alongside NVIDIA. DDN being a technical platform and controlling really our IP and destiny, we have been able to fine tune and to partner very closely with NVIDIA engineering to make the uh, Celine and then future SuperPod really a turnkey platform, either that you're going to buy on-prem or that you want as a service or running in the cloud. And that makes a huge difference because nowadays we don't have the time, right? To uh, We don't have the six months or a year anymore to deploy gear. We want to be up and running in 30 days and go about applications and, 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 and improving our innovation. And this is really what NVIDIA and DDN and Mellanox are going to deliver to you is a uh, a super pod turnkey. So at this point, we're very proud that NVIDIA is really only supporting DDN as a storage. If you're going to buy a super pod, which you should definitely look at it either, uh, obviously, from NVIDIA or other potential players that deliver multi-way based on NVIDIA platform, we are the only storage supported. And this is really a, a notion that we're going to keep improving, keep engineering, and keep adding values, uh, you know, uh, 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 we're now looking at uh, uh, using uh, caching of the center. I mean, we, we you, you'll see some really extreme innovation. So Microsoft uh, is using uh, SuperPod with DDN, University of Florida, Oxford, a very large upper-scale cloud language processing is already deployed. Uh, so, so far we've deployed probably about close to 10 SuperPod, and we have in the pipe another uh, 50 to 100 for 2021. So we plan to be extremely busy with this, and we plan to deliver excellence. Let's go next slide. So again, I mean, I think the, 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 the other good thing is that I think we've simplified and streamlined our offering, right? We have a lot of various offers, and we have the 18K, of course, and we have the 7990, but we're finding that customers are loving our AI 400X platform. Why? Because it can come in in all flash, or it can come in in hybrid, and it's amazing. It's very simple. I think we also listen to you customers as, guys, you have no problem with performance, you're better than anybody else, but you need to improve your you know, ease of use, manageability, monitoring quality. And I think by zeroing in on you know, potentially lesser platform, we are doing this. Uh, we kind of uh, chuckle uh, when people tell us that NFS is applicable you know, to AI at scale. Uh, you know, we are, talk to us, talk to one of our uh, technical experts and they will tell you why day in, day out, we are 50 to 60 X faster than NFS at scale. So by choosing DDN, even in a smaller deployment, you're future proofing your choice. That's what you're doing. You're basically not starting with NFS and then I'll move to DDN when I need performance. No, you can start with DDN now and be future proof for the next 10 years. Uh, we're 10 X more cost efficient with us. We're not telling you only use flash. Flash is great for tier one hot data, but you know, why would you spend uh, you know, the, the expensive cost of SSD, if you can also use HDD at a tenth of the cost. Picture that, right? So you can literally get 
10, 11 petabyte, right? You can get 10 petabyte of disk and a petabyte of flash SSD at the cost of two petabytes of SSDs, right? So we're just saying we're open. We don't want to uh, uh, take you into one direction or the other. We want to do something that is consultative and makes sense and maximize your dollars. And this is what you've been used to seeing with DDN. And we intend to keep doing this. This is what makes us number one in the market. The other thing that we've been doing, although our customers you know, are really mostly still running in on-prem because they're using their compute and clusters and storage at 70, 80% or more efficiency. So cloud is really not cost efficient for them to just move it all out in the cloud. In the cloud. We are seeing use cases in the cloud. We are seeing bursting. We're seeing, uh, you know, you might want to uh, uh, extantiate some workloads there and then pull it back. So we're taking it very seriously. Uh, you at this point able to deploy Exa5 in the cloud, either in AWS, in uh, Google Cloud. We have a great relationship with Google Cloud and also in Azure. And at this point, users are using it both, but we're still seeing that on-prem uh, makes more sense if you uh, value your dollar all around and you're at scale. Next slide. And so the other factor is, you know, if we remember just a short two years ago, we had grid scaler and we had the beginning of exa five, right? And grid scaler, we're very happy with grid scaler at the time, but a company delivering that file system decided to change rules and change licensing and change the ways we did business. And we refused to comply, right? We said, no, for HPC, we have to do better. Uh, you know, those don't work with our HPC customers. So it's interesting because in a short two years, you know, Two years ago, we delivered 50% of the of grid scaler and 50% of luster, right? And now a short two years later, we basically are 5x time, right? So picture that, right? We did 50 cents of exa five two years ago. We now do a buck twenty-five, so two and a half times the amount of volume, which is massive. And we've divided by two uh, the other file system. So really. Thank you again to our customers for entrusting us, right? Because we have moved some massive customers that are tens of petabytes, hundreds of petabytes from grid scaler to exa five. They're now in production. They're loving it. The second thing that we did is we made promises a year ago. We said, listen, we are going to invest more. We're going to make this happen. And we're going to basically circumvent some of the enterprise features that we did not have on grid, that we did not have on Luster uh, and exa five uh, against grid scaler. And now in a short two years, uh, Snapshot is available, Hot Pools, uh, which is kind of a, a intelligent tiering between SSD and disk has been uh, delivered you know, several months ago, a year ago, GPU Direct uh, with uh, uh, NVIDIA. And we're finding that Exa5 is much more suitable to AI uh, than GridScaler would be. Uh, we added NFS SMBS3 and we now have tools to instantiate in public to cloud and sync tools. So really thank you for the customers that moved from GridScaler to Exa5 to refuse basically monopoly and really just uh, uh, you know, dark power on, on our world. And uh, really, uh, uh, I think that if you look at support and the rest, Exa5 has been uh, extremely well received and improving daily. Next slides. So thank you very much. Looking forward to hearing from Sven James and our users. Uh, and uh, again, thank you. Uh, you know, this has been an interesting year uh, to say the least. Uh, if you've been uh, affected by COVID, we're sorry. We're going to see, uh, we are helping. We've been delivering systems actually to help uh, research, uh, but vaccines seem to be coming about and hopefully we can get back to real life by next year and we'll be able to shake hands again safely and see eye to high. So again, thank you very much. Really appreciate it.